the patient voice is essential. It's foundational to everything we do. Everything we do in the medical side of biotech is geared at patients. You can't do that without involving the patient at almost every level. Innovation in the abstract doesn't matter. And insurance coverage in the abstract doesn't matter. What matters is, will we be able to develop the medicines that someone needs and will they be able to get affordable access to it? In the past, we relied on physicians uh, to provide that patient perspective. However, we found out that they're not always the best surrogate. So we've begun to really design our clinical programs by obtaining direct patient input. Drug discovery and development is the ultimate team sport. We wouldn't be here without the support of the CF community the patients, caregivers, and healthcare providers. And as we broaden our focus to conquer other rare diseases, we're looking to those patient communities for our inspiration, for information, and the motivation that keeps us going. Within rare disease, we know that the path that so many patients are on is uncharted. And that is why we need to have the voice of the patient at the table. And we also need to make sure that diverse patient voices are also at the table, given the unique challenges and situations that we find within the rare disease community. We connect with the patient community in so many different ways throughout uh, the life cycle of our products, starting um, in R&D, we have a patient engagement organization that works with patient advocacy groups. As we move through to commercialization, we work with advocacy organizations and patients to ensure that we understand their perspective, that we're meeting their needs, and that we co-develop different programs with them. Patients have a very important seat at the table when it comes to policy matters, whether it is on the regulatory side, the policy side, as well as the payer side because patient organizations have one purpose, and that is to make sure that meaningful treatments are accessible to patients. So critically important that bio takes up this mantra, takes up this, this goal to work with these patient organizations in a very hands-off, arm's length fashion to assemble them, to bring them into one meeting like we're doing here at the Patient Summit, and to allow these groups to have a place where they can share ideas, share best practices, well, I think we're in an exciting moment in time for how the patient voice and, and the and patient groups in, in particular can impact the future of medicine, certainly around the access side. And so I look forward to continuing to work with patient communities to think about the ecosystem for innovation. You know, I think people who look at the biotechnology, biopharmaceutical industry from the outside don't realize that for all of us, patients are our purpose. We, of course, have different missions and different priorities inside of our company, many different stakeholders. But at the end of the day, I'm at Merck because it matters to patients. At the end of the day, I'm still a doctor. And at the end of the day, the work I do really matters to people who need better medicines.